Welcome back to the Fire Dash Pokemon Vanguard. In the last episode, we helped Fryless confront a renegade, and then after we defeated him, after he had a revival machine. Whoa. What is going on? There we go. That was weird. Get rid of that real quick. Okay. But yeah. He apparently had a revival machine, which he revived this Pokemon three times, and apparently they turned into like goop, basically. So Rylos got pissed, and then he actually, she actually killed the Renegade. But then we got lucky to be able to go back in time and save the Renegade. So Rylos now knows we have something going on with ourselves, and we now know that Rylos has joined the Academy for different reasons. So, we'll see what happens here. Okay, let's check our quest real quick. Lost Boy. Lumberjack. Pesky Zubats. Oh god. Actually, let's see if we can... Talk to you. Ah, oh, we can't go. Okay, cool, 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 Actually, we didn't talk to... the guy... about his brother. Hey, protein. Not protein. Push in. There you are. Hey, let's go. Thank you. This. Go to Vanguard Academy. And actually, let's do some exploring, because we did not get to last time. Oh, first, let's do this. Great, now that you're all here, I can finally make my announcement. Announcement? Yup! Keith has given me to given me the privilege to allow U5 to participate in an early promotion exam. Does that mean We'll become actual Pokemon trainers? I can probably crush people as a profession, and I can finally move on with my goal. No. <laughs> you can still have a while to go before you become actual Pokemon trainers. Promotion will simply allow you to be recognized as a stronger student rather than you were before. It will also allow your Pokemon to progress to a higher level. So what exactly do we have to do for this promotion? You'll be put up against a series of challenging encounters, and then at the end, you'll fight yours truly. When do we start? I'll prefer if it were done tomorrow. However, Keith, once again, wishes to see you all in action as soon as possible. So tonight, only one of you will participate, while the rest of you will battle tomorrow. Let me guess, it's fire, isn't it? How did you... It's not hard to read you people. Them and Destiny have been receiving special privileges from Keith ever since they got here. It's pretty obvious. That might have been the smartest thing I've heard out of your mouth. Did I ask for your opinion? That was a compliment. <laughs> alright, alright. Yes, fire is up first. That's Keith's decision, and it's final. So fire, whenever you're ready, please proceed to the battlefield. I also just suggest that the rest of you join me in spectating the matches. Whatever, I'm gonna go train more for tomorrow. Same here, I'd rather train myself than watch someone else's battle. Yeah, I'm tired as well. See you all tomorrow. Whatever, honestly. Destiny, I assume you have somewhere else to be? Uh, no! I wanna stay and watch fire battle. <laughs> no wonder Keith sees more potential in you too. Seriously, you two are the only one, only two who treat me with any respect. All right, then. Fire proceeds to our special training grounds, just through the gate in the left courtyard. Good luck, Fire. And she walked through a bench. Ew. Sure. That's actually 
try to explore the academy since we didn't technically last time. It's back here. Ah. Interesting. Come on, don't lose now, damn it. <laughs> well, that's rude. Don't be rude to your Pokemon. Ugh, there's nothing to do around here. All you gotta do is believe! This way, let's check out over here real quick. Nah, I mean that's valid. Ew. I did not want the fire gem! You? Oh yes, I am the Mufdalita. Nope. Ew. Ew. I do not have a goose, uh, Weedle. Oh, he's playing Pokemon Go. Clever. Oh, that's weird. You're the guy, hmm? You need something. What? My sister! I see, thank you for coming all this way. You're welcome. Ew. Research, you say? Healing charm, let's go. Netballs, nice. Anyone else here? Nope. Okay, so let's go this way. Ah. Good clunk. I'll take one bears. Grab the berries. I'll grab these two. And these. berries are always helpful. I don't know. I did not even ent enter before you attacked me. Uh, Gus. Hey, let's go. Perfect. We'll catch you. Not gonna use you, probably, but we'll catch you. One, two, three, leak! Let's go. We got no more.
Just a pumpkin shell in there. That's interesting. It's possible. <laughs> Don't know, of course. I'm not a single woman sitting here by myself. That would be just silly, right? I'll sit with you. <laughs> Your bronzer, right? You can see it. Yep. Right. Let's go. Fire! Welcome to your first promotion exam. I will put you through a series of tests to prove you are worthy of a bronze rank. Get every question right, and you will pass. Get one wrong, and you'll be sent right back to the start. So we start with some decision-making skills. Before you are two innocent Pokemon under attack by two enraged ones. You unfortunately only have time to help one. Choose wisely. I mean, duh. <laughs> Let's do Thundershock. That's gonna not really hurt. Let's go! choice. Electric type can easily deal with the water and flying type, so helping pants here was more favorable. Well, on to your next challenge. What does the healing thing do? Ah, that is kind of cool. Any cool Pokemon here that I might want to catch? No encounters. Alrighty. Fly with me! You are about to get wrecked by my swap dude. About to get wrecked, about to get wrecked. Lundershark Rock Smash. Interesting. How do you use pen? I got the fairy. Oh. And powder snail. Pardon is fine. Marco. What a pedal. Love the music. You dare fletch me. We got the boost! Cause now you're going down. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a one shot. Let's go. Items up here? No items. Hello.
Bye. Pink girl is just wrecking me. Appreciate it. Nice, nice. And I believe there is going to be another... 
Hello, boy. Okay, so I feel like, goodness. Yep, girder. Timber! Use timber! <laughs> this one should be easy. damage. Alright, we made it. Ew. Fire, you made it. So, I would heal your Pokemon. But I thought you might think that's against the rules. So I guess good luck. Alright, so we're gonna heal up. Us make our way. So you've made it here. <laughs> I love the jumps. Fire, you've done well reaching this point. But now, do you have what it takes to defeat a little <gasps> opponent like myself? I believe I do. Then show me. Show me you are worthy of this title. Dare you. Do double kick. Let's go. Get rats. Nice. You actually did it. Not that I really had any doubt in you. You're strong, like really strong. 
She's right. I had no prior knowledge of Pokemon Ballad up till up until a week ago. Guess I'm not so bad after all. Not so bad. Seeing you have potential will be an understatement. So without further ado, it is my honor to present this to you. We got the bronze badge. This badge will allow you to now be recognized as a bronze team. On that sounds superb. It's a step up from where you were stood before. And at the speed you've been moving, you'll reach the next step in no time. But still, I just want you to remember, Fire. Being a Pokemon trainer is not easy work. It comes with harsh responsibilities. People have spent their entire lives trying to master the art of being a Pokemon trainer. If there's any real advice I can give you right here and now, is that no matter how strong you get, there will always be someone stronger than you. Hey! You wanted to see me? Yes, it is about your fire with fire. I... I did exactly as you said. I used the team stronger than average. But still, they completely unmatched me. I see. They used tactics that a bronze nor iron trainer should even know yet. I thought maybe they had attended one of those private prep schools before arriving here, but their files stated nothing about it. On paper, Fire's just an ordinary teenager who wanted to become a Pokemon trainer. I feel like I'm missing so much here. Clarity, do you trust my judgment? Uh, of course. I was a student under you, and now an instructor. Well, about Fire's file, it's fabricated. What? I don't get it. Why would Fire fabricate their own files, only to make themselves seem worse than they are? I'm afraid you aren't understanding what I'm saying. Fire didn't fake their information, nor did one of their accomplices. I did. This really hurts my head. <laughs> okay, I'm alright now, but I still have so many questions. Who is Fire? Where did they come from? And why did you fake their background? Hmm. First question, I don't know. Second question, I still don't know. <laughs> Final question, I did so because I was curious. The day I met Fire, they were in a standoff against two renegades. A trainer who had just received the first Pokemon handling himself against a renegade. Wouldn't that intrigue anyone? I mean, you've caught my interest now too. So I suppose you aren't wrong. But still, how do you know Fire isn't a bad person? Out of every trainer I've taught in my career, there was always the ones that stood out. The strong ones, the one with seemingly limitless potential. Almost all of them had one thing in common. They all had stories where they were put in a similar situation where it seemed like the odds were completely against their favor. Despite that, they stood against that danger and kept fighting until they won. Or couldn't any longer. That's what I saw on fire that day. And now look at that. They have gotten into the situation by defending another person. So you're right. For all we know, fire could be a bad person. But that's something I would really have to see to believe. Congratulations, you all successfully passed your promotion exams. You're all a tiny bit closer to being professional Pokemon trainers. Does this mean what I think it means? Of course, this would be the only thing you actually cared to research. Yes, if a student trainer successfully obtained their bronze badge early, then they received the remainder of the month off. Uh, how much time is that? About two weeks. This is awesome! What are you guys going to spend your two weeks doing? Studying? Training? Uh, probably one of those two. Oh, I'll be off then. Hope you three donkeys don't too far behind me. New vocabulary, huh? Oh, kill you, asshole! <laughs> I, I'm kidding, of course. All right, you guys have fun or whatever. Well, now that they're gone, there's something I want to say to you both. Oh, I have an assessment for the both of you. An assessment? Yes, one that Keith personally requested I hand to the two of you. However, I also request that you two keep it a secret between us four. It must be important then. In its eyes, maybe. But you two will hold up to that agreement, right? Of course. Good. Then allow me to explain. You will investigate an ancient ruin hidden behind Quillock's village. Your findings will be reported to Keith, and Keith only. Is that understood? Yes, but I've been to Quillock's a few times. I've never heard of something like that near the village. Hmm. 
That is strange. Well, Keith also said that if you couldn't find it, then you should just return home. But I'll at least put in an effort. Uh, of course, we'll try our best. Good. That'll be all then. See you guys in a few days. Hmm. Ah, I really wanted to visit my mom back home, but this is definitely important. I'm just confused as to why Keith would give this task to us rather than a higher ranking trainer. There must be a deeper meaning to it, right? <gasps> Maybe it has something to do with the amnesia. Ah, you're right. Keith is the only person besides Destiny and her mom that know about my secret. This has to be related. Alright then, we should get going. I should give you this then. It'll help you navigate the path to Quillix. We got cut. Did I really forget so easily? That dream. That woman's voice. This place we're going to. And Rylus. Do they all mean something? Are they connected? Um, Fire, you okay? Yeah. You look like you've seen a ghost. Do I tell her? Something is your mind. You can tell me, you know. But if I tell her about Rylus, it might put her in danger. I'm just a bit tired, but I promise not to hold us back. I'm sorry, Destiny. You've given me your everything so far, and I haven't returned the slightest bit of a favor. So for now, just excuse my selfish desire. Hmm. Chapter 6, Hidden Away. Let's see. If I remember correctly, there was a path I couldn't take before when first traveling to Vanguard Academy. Riverside Cross, that's where it is. I think that's a good spot to cut here. In the next episode, we will head our way to Pillix Village and see what's going on. Maybe we'll find some new team members as well. So where do we gotta go? That's Southern Farm. Aha! We gotta go down and to the left. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. With that being all said, I will see you guys in the next episode.